Hello again. Let's do some file management stuff. Now we know that Internet Explorer and Chrome and Firefox all take us someplace else. Windows Explorer takes us through our computer system. So we're going to open Windows Explorer, which is also called your file system. There are lots of ways you can get to it. You can click this PC at the top left. You can click that little file folder at the bottom. See? This PC, the file folder at the bottom, or on your keyboard, you can hit your Windows key, which is towards the bottom left, and E for Windows Explorer. And that's what I'm going to do. And this takes me here. What yours look like looks like is not going to be what mine looks like. I have mine set up a certain way, and it doesn't matter if yours looks like this. This is just one of the objectives for this first week. So therefore, we're going to go through it. Now, we're in this PC because that's the way I have mine set up. And you're seeing basically what's on this PC. In the other videos, I've talked about the different hard drives and stuff. We're not doing hard drives, we're doing file management. So let's look. We have stuff across the top, and then we have stuff down the left. So across the top, we have things up here that we can add and change. See, we're in this PC. We have this, we have file, we have computer, and we have view, different tabs across the top. So under the view, this is where obviously you can change what you see. Right now we're in tiles. I can change it to extra large. I can change it to a list. I can change it however I want. But default is tile, so that's how I'm going to leave it. You can sort it by, you can group by, you can put a check mark right there. Not really sure what that does on this one. Different things. Now, I have mine set up for single click. That is something that you have to change yourself. A lot of people like the double click. I don't, I like single click. So let me show you how to change it. So we're in this PC or anywhere else. We're in the view tab at the top and I'm gonna to go to options. See, I don't have anything selected, just options. And I want to change my options. And this gets me a box. Now this thing is called a dialog box and they're movable. So let's look. We have different tabs. We have the search tab. We have the view tab, and then we have the general tab. And the general tab, look right here. See this? Yours is probably set to quick access. This is where you change it to this PC to make it look like mine. Down below, I also have single click to open it. And that's all I have. I have these down here cleared because I don't want stuff changing unless I change it myself. So this is what mine looks like. I haven't changed anything in search. I haven't changed anything in view. But general is where I've made my changes. The top, uh, this PC, I want single click and I have nothing checked in privacy and I've cleared it. Looks just like mine. Well, that was a stupid thing to say, wasn't it? Anyway, there we go. Now let's close it and do it again. Now if I click this PC, it takes me right back where I was. All right, so let's look at the left. Quick access, that's just quick access. These are the things you use most often. So I have these three things. Uh, there's my summer folder. I have my fall folder. I have my Google Drive. Now these are links, these are links. These are not the actual programs or folders themselves, these are links to the left. See, I use Zoom a lot. There's my advising file, I'm not gonna click it because that would show student names. And then here's my client list because I have, a, I have a side business. So let's look at summer. See, it takes me directly to my summer. So let's look at the file path. See here at the top? See, it doesn't say quick access, because this is just a shortcut to where it's actually at. There is my actual link under my E. See the bottom left? There's where that folder actually sits. 
it. There is my folder. So quick access is just like I said, quick access. Let's add something over there. Say I want to put um, a different folder over there. Let me go find a folder. Um, how about the curriculum contest? I want to put it over there. Now, watch my mouse. It's all about the mouse. So I'm going to grab it. I don't want to move it. I want to create a link over there. So this one, now let's look. See where it says pin? See the line in between pin two, pin two, pin two? And now if I'm not careful, I'll move it. And I don't want to move it. I just want to pin it over there and make a shortcut. There we go, see? So now, um, when I move around, it's over there at the left and it takes me straight to it. But I, I don't want it there anymore because I don't actually use it right now. So I'm going to unpin it. So if I just right click and unpin it, see? That's how you change your quick access section. Down below, this stuff is not really changeable. That's all there. Now let's, let's look. Let's find a folder and change the views. Let's find a picture folder. So this is my OneDrive and I have some photos. These are the photos that I, that I use other places that I think I might be needing and so I put them there. Do you, any of you recognize yourselves in these? Now these are not private photos, these were taken in class so I can show them to you, right? What all do we have here? Well, look what I see. I know some of you recognize yourselves here. So different pictures, different pictures. And see, see what size they are? They're about that size. Let's change the way it looks. Let's change the way it looks. Let's go into our view. Now see when, I, when I'm in the picture folder, I have different stuff up here at the top. I have the manage, and then I have, there we go, manage. I can make a slideshow, I can do different things here. Uh, it doesn't like me clicking, does it? Let's go to the view. I'm gonna look at the view, okay? That's what we're looking for. Let me go back and let's do it again. So I'm looking for my picture folder. And yes, I know where it's at, but I still have to look. It takes me a second. There we go. Now, I want to change what it looks like. So I'm in the View tab, not Share. Share really doesn't work. Uh, the View, here we go. Now, um, I'd like to have a little bitty. Little bitty, let's look at Tiles. Ooh, couldn't tell a thing, couldn't tell a thing. Lots of just names. Maybe I want to look for something by date. I want to change it to List, doesn't give me dates. Details, it gives me dates. Now. Up here, see these headers? These are headers. If I click it, it'll alphabetize it or go from one down or it'll go from, you know, backwards. You can sort it by date. You can click the arrow. I wish you guys could see me. I'm acting like you can see me because I'm gesturing with my hands like a weirdo. So I can choose just dates. Um, I can choose types. Those are my types. I can sort it by types, see, I can choose size or tag, so I don't really like that, let's look at medium icons, mm, no, I can do large icons or I can just do extra large, makes, see, makes me able to see it better, right, so that's how you can do things like that, now let's go to just a folder, let me go here into summer, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder and move stuff into it. Um, these are my little screen snips. Those are what I use for uh, thumbnails. So I'm going to make a new folder called thumbnails. So lots of ways to do it. You can go to home. I can make a new folder. Lots of ways to do it. Or I can just right click, new. Now if it doesn't look like this, you right clicked on something. So if I right click on this, see I don't get a new. You have to right click. That's gonna create a new, a new Word file. I don't want that. I just want a folder. Right click, 
new. See how it gives me options? I have different options down here. Folder. I want to call it thumb, how do I spell thumbnails? Right? Okay. Now I'm going to move these in there. Watch this. This is called drag and drop. I grab one and I just drag it and I drop it on top of it. See how it says move? It doesn't say copy, it says move. Moved it there. I'm going to move this one in there. Now if I have several in a row that I want to move, I can highlight them like this. Drop them in. In case you're wondering about that file right there, if you haven't logged in to Blackboard yet, um, I want your advisor to check on you to make sure you're okay, that you know how to get logged into Blackboard. That's all that is. All right, so let's do the rest of ours. These are all just thumbnails, so I'm going to move them all there. Oh, so are these. Log entry, dragging them, drag and drop, right? There's another one, thumbnails. Oh, looks pretty good, right? I have some videos there, different things, drag and drop. I can also change the way this folder looks too. Now changing the view for a folder is only for that folder. View, uh, details. I can resize, right? I can sort, I can resize, I can do all kinds of things, but I liked just, is that how I had it? That's how I had it, right? All right, so let's look. Let's look across the top. This is our address bar. See it? Now, when you're someplace, you can go back, which means back to where you were, or you can go up, which means up a level. Let's go into Upper Bound Juniors, okay? Now, I can go back, but I also can go up. Let's go up a level. See, I'm in Upper Bound Juniors. Let's go up. So we went up, yes? Now, look up here. These, this is also clickable. This is the summer 2020. This is what's inside that folder. Click here, that's what's inside that folder. Inside my storage, inside this PC, inside my computer all the way. So these are also clickable. Now let's look at file paths real quick. Okay, so this one, that is my Upward Bound Seniors folder. Let's look at the file path. I'm going to right click it. See how I can do stuff. I want to go to the very bottom and look at properties. Now, again, this is a dialog box. I can move it. So let's look. Location. It's in my e hard drive, that folder. Um, see how you go all the way across subfolders? So let's look at file path. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sixty-four characters. That folder's file path is 64 characters long. When you get a file that gives you an error, try moving it someplace with a shorter file path, especially in your programming softwares. When you get, a, get an error on a file, lots of times your file path is too long. Windows likes 128 characters or less for a file path. Notice I said it likes that um, because otherwise you have too many subfolders. You can have too many subfolders and that can cause problems on your computer too. All right, so what else do we want to do in here? Anything else we need to mess with in here? Um, what are these things? Just different things, just different stuffs. Have you ever looked around inside your, yeah, made a new one there too. I need to delete it. I'm going to right click and delete it. So do you ever go in and look around your computer and clean up your files? If you have old files that you don't need, create a folder and put all your old files in that. The goal of a file system is just like a filing cabinet. 
when you open it, when you open your Windows Explorer, you're supposed to be able to know right where that file is and be able to find it easily. That's all I have for this video. I will see you online.